Are you making this common mistake and putting your customers to sleep? You might be surprised to hear that 95% of your prospects don't really understand your message. You have to know that your potential customer is simply in pain in some aspect of his life and he is looking for the solution. So he has come to you and what do you do? Let's take a look at your last ad, press release, email, or even the home page of your website. And if you're being honest, I would bet that more than 60% of the prime real estate is focused on you. Your brand, your product or service, what you are doing and why you are doing it. And if you are using visuals, they are probably of your products, your machinery, your location or even you. And if you are like most business owners, the last 40% of your space is spent trying to cram as many words as you can into this bottom section to let your prospects know just how much you can do. And in my experience, most of you are spending way too much time trying to impress your audience with fancy words and descriptions. Now here's the bad news. You've already lost your potential customer. In fact, you put him to sleep about two minutes ago. Your brain accounts for two to three percent of your body's mass, but it uses about 25 percent of your body's energy. This is a very important fact to know if you're trying to influence or persuade others. Your brain is the second most energy consumptive organ in your body. If you don't give it what it needs, it will control your thinking. For those of you who are hungry right now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. From a survival perspective, the brain doesn't like to use more energy than it has to. If you can make it easier for your customer's brain to grasp your message, process it quickly and decide, you are much more likely to get a yes. Now, just for fun, I would like to introduce you to one of your customers. Well, at least the decision making part of the brain of one of your customers. The part of your customer's brain that decides is the same brain that you and I share with this crocodile. This part of the brain is solely focused on what? Survival, that's right. Does Mr. Crocodile care about your brand, your products, your photo, or your features and benefits? No. Does it care about win-win? No. It's solely focused on itself and physical survival. This part of your customer's brain gets triggered within 30 seconds and it is permanently tuned into the WIFM, what's in it for me, radio station, constantly scanning to protect itself from pain or death. So what does this mean for you? To the extent that you understand the pain of your customer and you're here to help him solve it, he will listen to you or read whatever you have to say. Now let's come back to your marketing message for a moment. How can you use this insight for your next ad, press release, email, or website? First of all, you're going to stop wasting your most valuable real estate talking about your products, your background, your brand, your philosophy, or who you have been certified by. Your clients do not care. If this box represents 100% of the real estate that you have available, to get your message across right now, you need to spend about 80% of it showing your customer how to understand his pain, recreating his pain, and offering the solution. All right. This means that you should never waste time with a lame opening statement like introducing our spring line welcome to our newsletter or here are the latest clearance items while important to you they mean nothing to the part of the brain that decides they are like a bedtime story for your customer if you are using photos or video and I highly suggest that you do for reasons that we will cover in another session together very soon you want to select visuals that support what that's right recreating or demonstrating that you understand your customers pain this is not the time or place, if you are an electrician for example, to show a picture of you in your van. That photo is about you and not your customer's pain. Remember, your customer is tuned into WIFM radio station. And if you're going to feature your brand or logo, it does not belong up here in this very important 80% area.
That leaves only what? 20% for your call to action and contact details, which is plenty of space if you've captured your, pro your prospect's attention up here in the 80% zone. I would like to take you back now to the beginning of this video where I made a pretty bold claim that 95% of your prospects don't really understand your message. And as you can see, the reason is really very simple. Your customers come to you in pain in some aspect of his life and his crocodile brain is solely fixated on finding the solution. This part of the brain, which is responsible for decision making, does not have the time or patience to sit around reading or listening to information that is all about you. If you don't capture his attention in the first 30 seconds with something that is relevant to his pain, you have lost him. He can't possibly understand your message, no matter how clever or funny it is, because he's not even paying attention. His reptilian brain has already moved on to look for the solution that will keep him alive or cure his pain. And if you need more proof, take my example of the glass of water from the last video. I want you to assume for a moment that you are dying of thirst. Would you be willing to sit here for about an hour while I substantiate my credentials, talk to you about why I started my company, and educate you on the values and qualities of my pure spring water? Or would you simply get up, walk across the street, and find the water that you need to survive? What if you were dirty and itchy? Wouldn't you be will any more willing to listen to me focus on my brand or my product for an hour? How long would it take before you just got up and found something to wash yourself with? And what if your house were on fire? Would you kick back and read three pages of stuff on my website about how great my water is, or would you rather find someone right now who can help you put out the flames? The bottom line is this. The quickest way to connect with your customer and get the attention of the decision-making part of his brain is to let him know immediately that you understand his pain and you can cure it. If you do this well up front, he will listen to whatever it is that you have to say. This insight will help you go from boring your prospects to convincing them, and that's good for your business.